Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Um, I just got back from Vegas for an expo that I attended called Supply Side, Supply Side Expo, Supply Side West and East. I go to West. Um, and, you know, I used to really like going to Vegas a lot more than I do now, but it was okay. Um, I would just say the industry itself really has changed tremendously. Um, we used to just have a lot of ingredients there and um, and all sorts of just things you would need for natural health and everything now has become branded uh, it's trademarked this is what they're kind of they take something like bacopa or ashwagandha and they change it just a little bit and then they brand it and they call this is our bacopa this is our ashwagandha this is our turmeric so it, it shows you that um, you know these big corporations have really moved into and taken over so much of the segment of uh, the health market now. They ignored it for a long time, but now you see companies very common, ADM, Nestle's is, of course, they're there, um, you know, Cargill, all of them. And uh, if, they're, if you don't really see them, then they already bought up all the companies. <laughs> So that's kind of where we are. So big money moving into natural products. Some of that's good, some of it isn't. Um, as long as they keep up the quality, I'm not against that. But the small companies like mine are the ones that really started it. So uh, lots of great, I really love this expo. Lots of great new things out on the market, uh, new ways of doing things, much more sophisticated. Even India has become very sophisticated. Um, not as much as you would, you know, we are over here, but they're getting a lot better. I hate to admit it, even China, uh, their quality is getting better. Uh, I just don't care for China for a number of reasons. But Taiwan Chlorella and Taiwan Spirulina still are the best. No doubt about that whatsoever. So having said that, um, we're getting ready to introduce our fermented products, our fermented acesanthin, fermented lycopene fermented uh, beta carotene, phytoene. Phytoene is, um, uh, that's what you use for sunblock, you know, it absorbs UV. So we're gonna have all these fermented products and they're gonna be absolutely pure. Um, and, you know, really like the acesanthin, this is gonna, no one's really experienced acesanthin on this scale. Ours is 70 times more concentrated than what you see now in the market. So there's nothing wrong with that, what's out there now. I've been selling it for many years. It's just, ours is so much better. Those guys produced it using hematococcus and the algae. Uh, they're all out of business. They just don't know it yet. That's that's the truth. They'll they'll find out when we finally you know go full scale and hit, really hit the market. You'll see it's out there. Another one was green papaya, en enzyme that uh, is a it's a it's a an enzyme that's been fermented, and it's again it's just an absolutely amazing product. Comes out of Japan. No one else has it. This stuff handles everything. I can't, I don't want to say like, uh, you know, I, you can say joint health. I don't want to say any diseases or anything because you can't say that, but uh, there's nothing that this stuff doesn't address in some way. So pretty amazing stuff, uh, green papaya, fermented green papaya. So we've got that and that's mine. It tastes just like sugar. It'll help you sleep right through the night. It's amazing stuff. What I noticed about the Vegas, I mean, it's just gotten so expensive. And um, it was really dry there. I, you know, I mean, I was putting cream on all every moment. So dry, so expensive, and so loud. I was in Mandalay Bay. You just can't get away from the music. You you, you finally get outside and try to make a phone call. The music is out there blaring, too. So that was kind of terrible. But what I learned about Vegas, you know, they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Oh, that's really, <laughs> that's very true. Because what happens in Vegas is that you spend all your money and then when you leave, what stays in Vegas is your money. That's what stays there. So what happens in Vegas is you get ripped off because the place has become just one. I, you know, I always liked Vegas. I, I really didn't care for it this time. But what happens in Vegas is you spend all your money. And then uh, what happens there stays in Vegas because your money stays there and then you leave. So that's just a little, uh, just a quick little video to show you what's happening in my industry. Um, and it's not small anymore. It's gotten really big. The big money's coming in. And uh, anyway, I just want to go through that with you really quickly. And like I said, what happens in Vegas, you spend all the money. That stays in Vegas. Dr. Bob, see you next time. I just want to remind you to buy my books. I've got uh, eight books on natural health, uh, one on cancer, one on silver, one on water, some other ones. I've been writing books now, believe it or not, 25 years. And uh, go to Amazon.com. 
or Audible. I've got them all on Audible or go to BobMcCauleyBooks.com. But buy my books, please, and review them.